thank you for joining sports development series we all truly put my ekior Uh, Sports Dev Series is sponsored by Arewa Baobab Fruit Powder, um, one of the most nutritious substances on the planet. Get your Baobab Fruit Powder from arewabaobab.com. Sports Dev Series, what's up, guys? Welcome again to another session. So in continuation of our AFCON watch, which is African Cup of Nations watch, uh, looking at the standout players for the upcoming tournament in January, uh, we're moving from... West Africa, which is Ghana. We looked at um, Mohamed Kudus last time, and we're going to North Africa. This time we're looking at Ashraf Hakimi. He's a right back for Morocco and Paris Saint-Germain. An outstanding player. Uh, Some of you may have seen him in the World Cup playing for Morocco. They shocked the world by getting to the semifinals of the World Cup. But, um, I mean, this guy... There's no word to use to describe him. He's outstanding. He's considered by some to be the best right fullback in the world. And I've seen a lot. He's really good. Goes down. He can also play right wing back if he wants to. That's how talented this guy is. He's um, extremely fast, technically skilled, which means he's very good with the ball at his feet. And um, he was actually born in Spain. To Moroccan parents, so he could have played for Spain if he wanted to. That's how good he is. Um, but let's look at his background. You know, Ashraf Hakimi, as I mentioned, you know, grew up in Spain. He started out playing for Real Madrid Castilla, and then he went to their first team. He got loaned out to Borussia Dortmund, and that's when he had his coming out party. Like he really showed up for Dortmund, turned a lot of heads. Uh, Inter Milan in Italy ended up paying reportedly it's about 40 million euros to get him to Syria, you know, and they, you know, just helped them win their first title in 11 years. And then PSG signed him for about 60 million euros. So now he's been at PSG for a couple of years now, I would say since 2021, if I'm not mistaken. And then he's, he's been there. He's played right fullback. Sometimes he plays right winger but he's a constant start on the team, goes down the flank, extremely explosive, finishes goals, scores a lot. Um, Not sure if you got to see him in the World Cup, but if you did see him play for Morocco, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. This guy is going to be a handful for any African team that plays Morocco in the African Cup of Nations. Uh, He was recently nominated for the best... African Player Award, um, but he lost out to Nigeria's uh, Victor Osimhen, who who has just been a flat out master, by the way. So, yeah, Ashraf Hakimi, the kind of guy you want to see, uh, technically technically gifted. Make sure you check out African Cup of Nations if you want to see this winger. As I mentioned, he's to me he's the best, hands down, the best right winger in the world without question. To some people, maybe not, but definitely to me he is. Uh, some may remember remember him more for his um, smart maneuvering in his uh, lawsuit from, I think, his ex-wife, who tried to take all his money during a divorce. Uh, but that aside, when you look at Ashraf Hakimi and, and his abilities, without question, best rifle back in the world, Hands down one of the best players in the world. And um, he'll be featured in African Cup of Nations. All right, guys. Look, thanks for joining me. We're going to move on next. The next player we're going to evaluate is from Guinea, which is a small country in West Africa. This guy plays in the German League, and he's a phenomenal striker. You'll see who I'm talking about. Thanks again. All the best. And we're out.